Edward here from ERViewer.com. I have another video for you. This is another in a series of videos that I'm doing and experiments and exercises uh, that I'm doing to illuminate the mental processing realms. Uh, meaning, again, that uh, when deep below the threshold of awareness in the area that Ingo Swan terms the psychic nucleus is where we have access to what he calls a second reality where these uh, in this information or these formations exist and where we somehow have the ability to request them or select them and then um, have access to them meaning that once they are selected uh, they can come through as unimpeded input meaning they come straight into our conscious awareness in, in the complete form uh, more often than not uh, the inputs get get caught up or they move through the barrage of mental processing realms and hopefully make it above the threshold of awareness, um, which happens quite often. Uh, remote viewing uh, was designed to assist the individual to learn how to create the environment in the mind that is necessary for these inputs that come through with as little damage as possible. That's really what remote viewing was designed to do. Or Zingo Swan uh, mentioned that uh, controlled remote viewing was designed, or remote viewing was designed to um, lower the noise factor. And the noise being the mental processing realms. That, that's what the noise, as well as uh, external or environmental factors as well. Uh, but that's that's uh, one of his definitions for for why uh, controlled remote viewing or the the structures of remote viewing were designed to limit that noise, um, and that's what I've been exploring and attempting to illuminate um, and describe on video because they just haven't this just haven't been done and it's not available to actually focus on illuminating the these mental processing realms. Typically, in remote viewing training. Um, if an image comes into the mind, what uh, the people are taught to is to uh, clear that out as quickly as possible. They call that's called analytical overlay is how, what it's termed, and that an Ingo Swan term, um, though it, it uh, deeper study into this process, deeper study into Ingo's um, exploration of it is where you find his work specifically with the different types of mental processing realms as opposed to just calling it analytical overlay. Uh, the reason that that's important to me and has become a major focus in my work is because of Ingo's, fo Ingo's research into and experimentation into um, what is taking place when these inputs become available. One of the things that I wrote about uh, is what came first, mental image or mental words. And that is a big part of what I'm doing now, is to explore the difference between that. Typically, when you start a remote viewing session, what typically happens is the mental words begin to come through. But as Ingo stated uh, in some of his writings, is that humans have an innate ability to sketch things that are in our minds. Children will begin sketching long before they learn words. And so um, basic imaging is a, a process deep down by that psychic nucleus where these inputs come through, uh, whether they're some type of quantum imaging, which is kind of a term that, that uh, feels pretty good to me, a quantum image of some kind becomes available and then moves through uh, into the brain, through the body into the brain. And um, where, where I believe it would then be processed in this realm of basic imaging. And uh, so that's what I have been exploring as well. And you see that in this video where uh, mental, the mental words are coming through right away and then mental imaging begins to become available shortly thereafter. Uh, and it's, it's different all the time. So some sessions, uh, the imaging may come through very quickly. And in some circumstances, a lot of mental words come through before uh, the input makes its way uh, with some of the basic imaging or the, what may be considered some kind of quantum imaging, uh, which would be um, 
the actual uh, images of the actual target itself. And so that's what I have been exploring. It's a big part of my work is to explore these things. This is what fascinates me. This is what uh, keeps me going as a remote viewer. And so I hope you enjoy this video. hope you get something out of it and many more to come. 4418, getting the number 9. 4418, long, narrow. Um, getting these could be random thoughts. Bridge and bike. Those could be random thoughts. <clears throat> Open. Wide angular. Dense. Open. Red. Blue. White. Angular. Boxy. Metallic. Um, this is moving through idea generation now here. Metal girders. That's the idea. The idea of it. Stimulus four four one eight four four one eight across uh, checkered checkered white. This is more of the ideas here. Clean, clean, shiny, bright. Edged, dimpled, spotted, four, four, one, eight, four, four, one, eight, across, getting the, this is a word coming in here, damaged, or broken. Related here. Damaged or broken. Damaged, broken. Damaged or broken. Four, four, one, eight. Four, four, one, eight. Four, four, one, eight. Glassy. Tubular, edged, pointed. Getting this word command marked. Marked like um, you know, like someone, someone marked it. or marking, marking, and then four, four, one, eight, long, across, deep, dense, open, narrow, vertical, vertical, Yoga. 
damaged or broken. Damaged, broken. Like a split crack. Could be random thought, but the, the number nine random could be random. Four, four could be one plus eight. Four, four, one, eight across dense moving inside around. Stony, edged, bright, dense. Um, getting this idea here like a well. Stacked up, long, brown, wooden, like, um, you know, I mean, that's bringing, this could just be memory off of this, but paper, paper, rose, This is giving, this is bringing in, this is shifting it over into like uh, pyramids and, you know, Mayan stuff based on that. But 
what I'm getting here are these, these stacks here. And it feels like something is split or broken. Four, four, one, eight. Long, heavy, heavy, dense. Heavy and dense. I'm getting more memory comparison stuff here, like um, a warehouse full of boxes. It's going through memory comparison of this idea here, of these things, and they, they seem hard and dense. Four, four, one, eight, long, clamping, holding, getting this idea of lifting, you know, lifting. I mean, this is coming in from this kind of clamping and holding thing, you know. Lifting something. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Four. Four one eight. Four four one eight. Cross. Dense open. It's dipped. It has dipped back below the subliminal barrier. I try the stimulus. Four four one eight. Four four one eight. Four four one eight. Cross long angular. Inside curved around. Flat. Tubular. 